29.5 My Subic Bay Radio. It's Thursday once again. Time for Consulta Pang Medicina. And of course, here's Dr. Noel Husay Laksamana. Isang magandang magandang araw sa'yo, DJ Tommy G. At sa All lahat right. ng mga kaibigan na nakatune in ngayon sa My Subic Bay Radio. Mm, makulimlim ngayon sa labas, no, Doc? Yes, so, mm-hmm. malamig. Eh, mm-hmm. Overcast. Yeah, overcast. overcast yeah. At uh, alam mo, uh, pag-uusapan natin ngayon, again, tungkol sa mga mata. Okay. Yung ating... Uh, Uh, iikot ang ating kwentuhan ngayon. Ha? Mm-hmm. And uh, before we we start our kwentuhan, nais ko munang uh, batiin ang management and staff ng Our Lady of Lourdes International Medical Center. Nakatune in lahat sila ngayon sa atin, syempre. Hi! Uh, pinapa-announce nila na uh, naghahanap sila. They're hiring uh, mm-hmm. uh, marketing specialist, All dentists, right. drivers, accounting clerk, at saka registered pharmacist. Ongoing yeah. yung hiring. So, in case you, you think you're qualified, uh, Please uh, drop by and bring in your resume. Mm-hmm. So, yan yung mga... Interview ka agad ng HR department. Look for Miss uh, Lim or Miss mm-hmm. Tina. All right. Mm-hmm. Or simply go there. Punta na yeah, lang kayo sa Our Lady of Lourdes. Tapos, Doc, nakapost naman itong mga announcement na to sa official Facebook page yeah, ng Our Lady uh, of Lourdes, ano? Para pwedeng tingnan ng mga all over ng mga... Yes, oh. At yeah, para, uh-huh. uh, yung email address natin is uh, mail at O-L-L-I-M-C. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, so topic natin ngayon is eye care. Mga pangangalaga or any, anything that has to do with your eye problems. Yeah, mm-hmm. Before we start, before, before we started kanina, mm-hmm. uh, ang dami na nagtitext sa atin. So, pwede <laughs> pwede sa mati sa ating mga kwentuhan. Mm-hmm. Ang ating uh, uh, hotline ay 0920-90-99937. Alright. And also, nakapost din to sa official 89.5 Facebook page. Pwede kayong mag-comment ng mga katanungan ninyo or pwede nyong i-chat dito sa chat box natin sa official live stream of 89.5 Subic Bay Radio. Google nyo lang po, 89.5. Makakapag-comment kayo or makakapag-chat sa amin. Alright, sa mga katanungan nyo. Uh, so, ito ha. Kanina, uh, early, nag-text na kagad sa atin si June Manuel. Sabi ni Mr. June Manuel, I am 57, may diabetes. Papatulong sana ako sa iyo, Dok, dahil lumalabo ang mata ko. Uh-huh. Retired military personnel naman at kaunti lang ang pension. Okay. Uh, can you help me? Kasi I heard you're helping the teachers. My sister na teacher na operahan mo before and tinulungan mo. Uh-huh. Hope you could extend and God bless. Mr. Manuel, sige po, tulungan natin. Uh, wow, nice. Meron daw siyang uh, mukhang may cataract and yung service ng inyong lingkod ay I would uh, gladly help you. Huh? Mm-hmm. Magsabi lang po kayo if you're in need at uh, mm-hmm. konti naman yung budget ninyo, mm-hmm. you can, I can waive my professional fees. You can pay the operating room, the hospital, mm-hmm. your needs, pero sa akin, uh, magsabi lang po kayo kung kinakailangan. Na? You know, Ito, advocacy, ni, advocacy ni Doc talaga naman. Yes. Oh. And totoo, <laughs> ang mga teachers, pagka <clears throat> kailangan nila maopera, uh, I do not charge them professional fees. It's my It's my give back. Mm-hmm. Kasi alam mo, nung nag-aaral tayo, hindi ako sinigil ng mga teacher na yan. Eh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oo, uh, I went through high school, college, medicine. At, uh, Is it something like a scholarship, Doc? Or? Yeah, I was, I, was mm-hmm. a full, I was a full scholar then. Mm-hmm. High school. F-O-O-L scholar. F-O-O-L full scholar. <laughs> <laughs> hindi kasi akala nila matalino ako. Hindi po ako matalino. <laughs> Nag-artista na ako. <laughs> Kunwari na ako. Good acting there, ha? Huh? They, they were convinced. <laughs> yeah, kasi I wanted to be an actor. Eh. I might just as well act like uh, one, you know? So, yun po, ha? O si Richard Meister. Oh, 23. Uh, Doc, I'm Phil. Uh, I am Phil. I'm my eyes po. Yung right eye ko is brown. The other one is lighter brown. But poorer in vision. And I saw... Korea ang sabi sa akin ano bang ibig sabihin nito ay hindi mag, hindi pantay yung hindi pareho yung uh, iris mo oo at uh, medyo malabo yung isa because of astigmatism ang tagal ko na naka-glasses hindi pa rin lumilinaw sabi nila correction daw ito bakit hanggang ngayon hindi pa correction 22 22 years old uh, Mr. Meister ano yan ang ang astigmatism yung eyeglasses mo correction is only on while you're wearing the glasses. When you re- remove your glasses, palabo ulit yan. Mm-hmm. The reason of correction is you try to make the beams of light, the rays of light, land on your retina. Mm-hmm. You know, focus lang nung lenses. Huh? 
So it's the same thing when you have myopia or when you have hyperopia. You're sighted kayo or hindi. Uh, yung beams of light, kinokorekt lang ng, ng lenses nung salamin para mafocus lang sa retina. Ayun nung. Pero yung correction yan, ang tunay na correction pagka may grad ng ganyan is laser eye correction. Basic. Oo, ha? Para matanggal yung ano, ma tanggal yung grado. So, if you are interested, you can go to the International Eye Center. Nandun ako. Uh, para ma-evaluate ma kung kung qualified ka for laser eye correction. Yan po yung sa sa, sa Robinson Star Mills. Yeah. Text yeah. me lang this number 0920 909937 and yes, we will extend. Sabi niya, uh, uh, covered ba ng PhilHealth ang uh, laser correction? The answer is no. Ang kinokover lang ng PhilHealth would be cataract surgery, glaucoma, mm -hmm. mga diseases. Pero yung mga laser eye correction, hindi eh. Akala okay. nung, ang tingin nila ng PhilHealth, luxury yan. It's not a luxury to see clearly without mm -hmm. glasses. Ah, okay, It is a necessity. Okay. It's a necessity. Ating, di ba? Yung, okay. again, uh, cases like glaucoma and... Uh, cataract, yan cataract. covered naman po ng PhilHealth. Yan yung PhilHealth. Ito, right. ang... Mm -hmm. O, siyempre, laging tanong how much. Well, yung laser eye correction sa International Eye Center is probably the least expensive in Asia. Mm -hmm. In Asia. <laughs> 25,000 right. lang per, ang pinakamababa. Ang mm -hmm. pinaka-high-end na, ang pinakamahal is only 75,000. Alright. Yeah, so, take advantage, ha? Mm, yan, sabi na. Uh, ask. Ito, sabi. Ito naman nagre-request ng song. <laughs> Mamaya po, after nung ano, oh, after the show. Konsulta. Yeah. Uh, Lagay natin yung song. From, uh, from anong, anong song daw po? Dina Dayan. Uh, all, of, all of me. Love. All of me. Uh, okay. Ano yung all of me? All uh, John, of me. John Legend. Why not? Of Pwede. All of me din yan. <laughs> Frank Sinatra. <laughs> John Legend. Yeah. John Legend siya. All of me. Yeah. Yun. He's such a lonely boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the songs. <laughs> pwede, yan, pwede, na? pwede. Pwede uh, na pa song, uh, pa pwede. <laughs> Sana mag-program tayo ng ganyan, no, Dok? <laughs> <laughs> sa mga, kadalasan yan sa mga panggabing program namin na, na, uh, 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 na weekend. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 si uh, Christopher, uh, good day, um, regular <clears throat> listeners po dito sa office with my, oh, WR, ah, workmates to. WRK, eh. Workmates, uh, mm -hmm. Din Din, and Diane. Uh, happy listening po sa inyo. Sabi, pa-wave naman dyan. Uh, <laughs> Naka-livestream sila. Pwede, eh. pwede kayong mag-ano, pwede kayong mag-comment uh, dito sa aming computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yung chat box ano, natin. Corner, oh, sabi, corner lang sa chat box. Uh, kunyari, working kami. <laughs> 2,714 viewers, Doc. 2,700. Reaching, 14. Reaching 3,000 <laughs> na. Dati, yeah. nag-start tayo, tayo 1,900 mm -hmm. lang. No? Regular daily viewers. <laughs> 2,900 live streamers na yan. No? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. See? Uh, mm, and it, ito naman is asking, uh, Doc, nagkakaroon po ako ng paulit-ulit na back pains at sakit sa likod ng neck at saka sa forehead, especially when I'm tired. I work as an office secretary. Maghapon po nakatutok sa computer. Especially kapag pinapatapos na yung weekly reports ag, ag weekend. Ah, sa weekend siguro yun. Uh, please advise. Gemma, maayos. Gemma, uh, most likely you're suffering from ano, tension headaches or computer eye fatigue syndrome. Uh, ano ba yan? It's a syndrome na may discomfort ka from the muscles sa likod sa back ninyo. Kadalasan ang pinaka-culprit niyan eh pinagbibintangan nila yung maghapon silang nakatayo sa nakaupo sa computer. Actually, uh, may advice ako para maiwasan 'yan. Mhm. Uh -huh. uh, Tingnan mo to ha, Ma'am Jema. Uh, take note. Remember yung 20 20 20. 20 20 20. Yes, every 20, 20 minutes, look <coughs> 20 feet away uh -huh. for at least 20 seconds. 'Yun, para ma-relax yung eyes niyo. That's one. So yung forehead pain sin tsaka dito mababawasan. The other thing is, assume a good posture. Your feet should be on the ground. Adjust your chair height in such a way na yung inyong heel ay nasa flat on the floor. Then, yung inyong back, gawin nyo, lagyan nyo ng arko. Mm -hmm. uh, sit perpendicular to the ground. 90 degrees sa ground. Huh? Your mm -hmm. head should 
para pwede kayo mag drawing ng straight line from your head down to your butt mm-hmm. to the floor mm-hmm. no so it's yeah. an L ganyan now para makita niyo malaman niyo kung tama yung posture niyo tumayo muna kayo punta kayo sa pader sumundal kayo make a fist ilagay niyo dito sa mid back niyo yung fist and let your shoulders your back yung dito yung back mm-hmm. shoulders saka yung butt niyo touch the wall mm-hmm. so may arko na yan then let your forehead rest on the wall on yung eyes not forehead yung yung occipital part of your head the back part of your head dito nakaganon then mm-hmm. make another fist ilagay mo dito sa neck ng ganun so dalawang no. fist tayo na nakaganon yeah. yeah. oh. mm-hmm. Uh, of course, you won't be able to work. Maghapon ka na kaganyan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ano lang, we're just taking the shape. Yeah, yeah, just yung, the shape. The, pos- assume, the hulma. <laughs> if you <laughs> assume that shape, that, uh-huh. that posture, you'll be able to work ano, uh, longer times without getting too tired. And let your shoulders rest at the back. Sabi, yung iba kasi, nahihiya daw. No, if you sit that way, stand that way, uh, chest out, ano na kaganyan you feel sexier you feel healthier and at the end of the day you don't look uh, grouchy or haggard or uh, pagod mas fresh ang dating mo uh, then always put a smile on your face whenever you work eh? uh, uh, love your work be easy kasi if you're always if you're working tapos ang inaantay mo lang yung 5 o'clock Mm-hmm. May times na gano'n, you know? Yeah, yeah. Taka na mag-12 o'clock para, ano? You're not really working. Mm-hmm. You're just staying Nag- there and waiting for time. <laughs> yeah. oh, so, Killing time. Yeah, if you don't love your work, it, uh, go somewhere else and mm-hmm. do other stuff. Uh-huh. So, uh, remember that. 20, 20, 20, and assume that good posture you have. Okay? Mm-hmm. That long 20. Yeah. Ayan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, si Marian. Dali. Natakpan, sandali ha, Marian, sandali lang. Natakpan yung text ni yes, Marian. Kasi pag yeah. isang patong-patong eh. Mm-hmm. So again, guys, kung may eye concerns kayo, join na kayo ha. Text na uh, 0920-909937, tsaka ano. Anything mm-hmm. you want to know about uh, the hospital sa Lourdes mm-hmm. or yung services or if you have general health problems, you can ask naman. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can, ano, uh, okay. And their landline number is 222- 9011 yes, if i remember okay. it right doc hanggang yeah. hanggang to 229013 yan okay uh, okay marian is asking yan uh, uh doc ano ang ibig sabihin kapag sumasakit ang dibdib tapos very acidic ang panlasa burp ng burp ang usually marian ano yan eh tinatawag ng gerd gastroesophageal reflux mm mm-hmm. this is your gerd na tawag you know? mm-hmm. so uh may mga factors na nagko-cause niyan. One, pagka-relax yung tinatawag na sphincter between the esophagus and the stomach. Or, if you're lying down, nabusog ka. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kumain ka ng marami, tapos ihiga ka. Maaari mangyari yun. Or, if you're maybe overweight, uh, lumalaki yung chan mo, so nagkakaroon ng pressure doon para less space for your stomach. Yung kinain mo, dumadami. So, overeating, posture can affect this. Uh, pag madalas mangyari, I, re- I recommend magpunta ka sa gastroenterologist. At uh, sa Lourdes, may mahusay na gastroenterologist dyan. Sila, Dr. Balmaseda, you can consult, ano? Para ma-check kung talaga nagkaka-GERD ka talaga or there might be other diseases. Kasi sometimes, yung ganyang feeling, sabi, parang nag, ano, yun pala sa heart na yung problem, ano? Mm-hmm. Sa heart na. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yung nagkakaroon ng chest pains na pala, ano? Mm-hmm. Kala nila, acid lang. So, and vice versa. Ito si oh, Roda is asking, Doc, meron ako lingering pain sa likod. Pag minsan nagsushoot sa toes at legs. Uh, pag minsan, pag bigla akong nagbago ng position sa bed, aha, bigla nagsushooting pain. Sometimes, while doing it, bigla magiging painful. So, nai-stress ang aming activity ng husband. It could be Oh, ano kaya ito? Sabi niya, alam mo, I recommend magpa-check ka rin. Baka meron kang spinal cord uh, problem. Baka may, mukhang may shooting pain. Shooting pain? Oh, to, towards the legs eh. Could be, baka may naiipit sa spinal cord mo. Ha? So maganda magpa-check ka. You can see your uh, neurologist or your orthopedic uh, 
doctors, ano? Yes, um, I can recommend sa orthopedics. Of course, sila Dr. De La Paz. You can see them. May office sila sa Lourdes. So, uh, pacheck mo kagad yan. Hindi biro yan. Baka nagkakaroon ng tinatawag na naiipit na na disc dyan sa spinal cord. Yung disc herniation or what. Ano? Um, huwag mong baliwalain yan. Mm-hmm. Si Cathy Grove. Uh, 23 years old. How much uh, butin pag uh, same tatanong sa laser eye correction? I'm wearing contacts now. Uh, magbabago pa kaya ang grado kapag na laser? Kasi uh, usually kapag ganyang edad, stable na yung grado ng mata mo uh-huh. until you're about 40. Then tinatanong niya kung pwede pa raw siyang tubuan. Pwede pa ba akong tubuan ng katarata? kapag na-laser na in the future. The answer is no. The answer, of course, is yes, pwede bang tubuan. Kasi yung katarata is another part of the eye. Eh. Nandun sa loob yun eh. Ang nilalaser pagka LASIK is the cornea, which is the front part of the eye, to correct the grade. Yung katarak nasa loob ng eyes yan. Ang tawag dun eh, yung natural lens natin, when it loses its crystalline character, yung transparency niya, then we call it katarak. Uh-huh. Uh, June, tinatawag niya. Dok, ano uh, ang relation ng blood sugar paglabo ng mata? June, it's a very good question. Alam mo ba na ang number one cause ng irreversible blindness is diabetes. Ganito yung nangyayari dyan. Kapag tumataas ang blood sugar, blood sugar yung mga blood vessels natin maliliit sa mata ay naapektuhan. Now, the lining becomes defective. Yung lining ng blood vessels. Kung host yan, yung pinaka interior yung panloob nagiging marupok, madaling mag-break yung lining na yan, so madaling magbara. At alam mo na, pag nagbara yung blood vessels, hindi mabibigyan ng supply ng oxygen at saka uh, nutrition yung sinusupplyan yan. So that leads to ischemia, and that can lead to neovascular formation. They're prone to break, so hemorrhage. Pag nag-hemorrhage yan, lalabong paningin, tatakip. You know? So, yun ang konjun kung bakit ang mga tumataas ang blood sugar ay prone masira ang mata. So, step one, your sugar should be well maintained. And I always recommend, kapag ang isang pasyente ay na-diagnose na na merong, merong uh, diabetes, go to your nearest eye doctor. Especially kung malinaw na malinaw pa ang paningin ninyo just to make sure everything will be okay because we want to preserve as much vision as possible. Hmm? Huwag natin baliwalain yan. So, yun. Uh, June, ha? I hope that answers it. Yeah. Ah, ito pa may follow-up si June sa so third text. Yan. Um, okay ba? Kasi requested na rin ako mag-insulin. Pero natatakot ako kasi si Kuya nag-insulin doon siya nabulag. Hindi po nakakabulag ang insulin. In fact, <laughs> Misconception yan. Uh, Natakot uh-huh. lang siguro no, nung time na lagyan na siya ng insulin, may damage na. Baka naman tinusok yung insulin sa mata. Huwag <laughs> po ganun. Hindi, oh, no. <laughs> hindi so, yun ang procedure. Oo, oh, kwan po. May inam yan. Uh, habang wala pang complications at in-advise uh-huh. kayo ng doktor na mag-insulin na. Uh-huh. Sundan po ninyo. Insulin helps. In, uh, yeah. it's, yeah, what, yeah. it's what you lack, so uh-huh. it's what they give. Uh-huh. It's what you should have. Alam mo ba yeah. na? Uh, yung mga pasyente na napansin ko yung mga early insulin uh, users when they start to use insulin bit before before complications would set in uh-huh. mas marami silang mas konti ang kanilang complications uh-huh. mas marami ang nasa save nilang paningin uh-huh. and so, going back to what you mentioned kanina doc tanong ko lang yung so glaucoma yun yung unti-unting pagkasira ng optical vet, nerve. Optical yung, nerve. Oh, yun yung, yung tinatawag nating glaucoma. Oh, Namamatay yung nerve fibers. Uh-huh. Uh, usually due to pressure uh-huh. ng mata. Nagagamot ba yun, Dok? Yeah. Nakocontrol. Nakocontrol. Uh-huh. Sabi ko nga, ang glaucoma is a lifetime disease. Lifetime uh-huh. nagbabantayin yan. Uh-huh. You can control it, but you cannot cure it. Para uh-huh. diabetes, it's a lifetime disease. Uh-huh. So you, you can just control it. You can uh-huh. just live with it and uh, control it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yun po yung kuwan, ha? Once meron ka na, it's yeah, gonna sure. stay there forever. Oh, hindi. Kagaya nung ibang tao, sabi, Dok, dati may alta pressure ako, pero ngayon wala na kasi 
uminom ako ng Amlodi pinsa, eh, nakakontrol po yan. Mm, nakakontrol, pero nandun dun yun. <laughs> Pag tinigil niya, baka tumakas ulit. No? Ito naman si oh, L. Laya. Oh, Bakal Yaya ito. Ah. Ask ko, why anong relation ng monosodium ah, MSG, monosodium glutamate at saka salt sa pagtaas ng BP. Ah, ay, pagtaas ng BP. Miss Ah, oh, ano, Mr. or Miss L ito, Laya. Kompo yan, ang sodium kasi, pag in-ingest natin sa katawan yan, may tendency mag-retain ng water. So, siyempre, if there's more water within the blood vessels, yung volume, by sheer volume alang, pwede yung tumas ang pressures. Ganun po yan. That's one way. Tapos, may epekto rin sa, sa kidneys natin, yung pagbabalansin ng salts natin. So, we always recommend i-moderate or bawasan yung pagkain na maalat at saka mabetsin para maiwasan yung pagtaas ng, ng presyon. Kasi yung alta presyon, maraming complications. Yan. So, ito si Dindo. Um, doc, suspicious stroke ang father ko kasi parang biglang nang hina yung left side ng kanyang paa. O, pa, anong gagawin? Uh, Pang Dindo, mga... Kung din doon, usually inano po yan. Dali nyo po sa neurologist at injured neurologist uh, mag-request ng MRI or CT scan kung kinakailangan para malaman yung pan. And speaking of MRI and CT scan, meron po tayo niyan sa, sa Lourdes. At uh, uh, maganda ang ating mga machines for that. Na very affordable naman. Mm -hmm. So mag-consulta lang kayo doon at tana. Uh, ha? You can call us at uh, 222-9011 kung papaschedule po kayo, ha? Hanggang uh, 222-9013. Ito naman si... Okay. Carla, how much ba magpa... Ano to? Executive. Pwede ba? May couples din kasi malayo St. Luke's. Dati doon kami papa-executive. Um, Ma'am Carla, yes, meron po. And it's much more affordable dito sa atin. Definitely a lot less expensive than St. Luke's, pero... Yung ating gadget naman ay maganda. Hmm? Ito si... Oh, maraming pa tayong texters. Keep on texting po, ha? Mm -mm. I think we're gonna have a few breaks. A few, a few reminders. Oh. Quick And uh, mamaya, meron tayong uh, audience yata or guest na gusto magtanong sa atin. Mm -hmm. Alright. See you, guest. Stick around. We will be right back. Sarap gumimik sa subik. Girls. Hi, Andy. <laughs> Beaches. Andy, swimming tayo! Oo oh, nga, Andy! Parties! Oh, yeah. oh. A duty free shops! Baby, I'll buy you anything you want. Teka, teka! Nasa Subic ka na ba? Kung wala pa, gaya na! Gaya na! Enjoy Subic this summer and have fun! Like swimming, duty free shops, check into first class hotels, dine in to a fine restaurant. Every weekend, summer gimmicks sa Subic. A lot of things to have fun, like carnival rides. Enjoy Subic this summer! Kung wala pa kayo sa Subic, gaya na! This is Ron. When driving inside Subic Bay Freeport, please stay within the required speed limit. In Subic Bay Freeport, traffic rules are strictly enforced. A safety reminder from Corporate Communication, LED, and this station. Did you know that the flagpole in front of Building 229 is symbolic? The flag staff has a height of 94 feet, symbolizing 94 years of the U.S. military presence in Subic Bay. The flagpole base measures 8 feet in height, symbolizing the 8,000 volunteers of Subic Bay. On November 24, 1991, one of the biggest Philippine flags in history was raised over the flagpole and flew for the first time in the former naval base, symbolizing the beginning of the country's sovereignty over Subic Bay. The Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority and the entire Freeport community commend the heroism of the Subic Bay volunteers. Two things changed the history of radio. The one was Marconi. Marconi. The other, the other, you're listening to it. 89.5 FM. The most the music. 89.5 music. Every listener's dream. You are my station. A lot better than the other one. Well, you're in the right place. 89.5. Subic Bay Radio. 
Chubbuck Bay Radio. 89.5 FM. What does the one you call dad mean to you? He is an extremely caring individual. He's the person you look to. He's the best. Celebrating Father's Day here. Subic Bay's most favorite radio station. June the 21st is Father's Day. Attention Dad. Here's a message to you from some friends of ours. Hey, this is Jack Johnson wishing you a happy Father's Day. Hi, this is Lionel Richie wishing you a happy, happy Father's Day. Hi, this is Mick Jones, a foreigner. So everybody out there, will you dads, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. He's our biggest hero and our biggest fan all rolled into one. He talks to me how proud he is. He's our dad. Can't thank him enough. Happy Father's Day. I love you, Dad. Love you, Dad. Celebrating dads all over the world. He's the person you look to. Happy Father's Day. From 89.5. 89.5. 89.5. My Civic Bay Radio and Civic Bay Metropolitan Authority. 89.5. Our competition has been around for 20 years. That's a really long time to suck. Who else can say that? All the time. All the time. I listen to it all the time. 89.5. Always first with hottest new music. Usapang medical ba ka mo? O baka naman libreng konsultasyon sa doktor ang iyong hinahanap? Aba, edi dito ka na sa bagong programa ng 89.5 FM My Subic Bay Radio. Kasama ang doktor ng bayan. Consulta pang medicina with Dr. Husay Laksamana every Thursday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Isang oras ng libreng pagkonsulta live on air tuwing Webes mula alas 9 hanggang alas 10 ng umaga. Consulta, Consulta pang medicina. medicina. Consulta pang medicina. Staring Dr. Noel Husay Laksamana with special guest doctors every week specializing in pediatrics. OB Gyne, Ophthalmology, General Surgery, Internal Medicine, Cardiology, Dentistry, Orthopedics, and many, many more. Libreng konsulta medicina tuwing Webes ng umaga. Konsulta pang medicina. Presented to you by Our Lady of Lourdes International Medical Center. Full hospital services with affordable, top-of-the-line facilities, laboratories, and rooms. Complete with state of the art equipment avail of our special hospital packages such as executive checkup ob package hmo or company packages we also accept insurance our lady of lords international medical center is located at number two national highway barrio barreto olongapo city for more information call our landline number 047-306-5250 or text our cell phone number 0 Okay, we're back. Once again, here's Dr. Noel Husay Laksamana. Yes, we're back. At uh, nandito po sa booth ngayon ang isa nating uh, guest. Actually, listeners siya na nagpunta mm-hmm. dito. Relative yata ng isa sa mga staff ng yeah. uh, uh-huh. station. Ano, kasi, mama, ano po yung naging problema nila? Uh, mayroon po akong bukol sa may mata. Ah, oo. Oh. Tsaka yung glaucoma. Yun, matagal na po yung bukol na yan. Opo. Mga okay. 13 years na yata. Ah, 13 years. Para sa ating listeners, meron siyang mask dito sa gilid ng pagitan ng mata at saka ng kanyang nose. Uh, upon looking, tinitingnan ko, eh mukhang meron siyang tinatawag na dacryocystitis. Yung mata po kasi natin, ma'am, meron ano, meron tinatawag na daluyan ng luha, yung alulod. Uh-huh. Kung saan nagdedrain yung luha from the eyes papunta sa nose, sa likod ng ilong yan. Unfortunately, yung sa inyo, mukhang nagbara. Then, just like any waterway, kapag nagbabara yan, naipon yung dumi, uh, bumabaho, nagkakang bacterial infection. At yun sa inyo, lamaga, ganun. Yun ang nangyari dyan. So, pag pinrest po ninyo yung bukol na yan, may lalabas na para mga nana dyan. Yun yun. Ang recommendation ko dyan, i-press nyo palagi yan. Halos every two hours, press it, wipe it clean, and, or wash it. Wash it. Maghilamos kayo. Tapos patak nyo po yung antibiotic na pinrescribe ko kanina sa inyo. It's called 
uh, dacryocystitis na mamaga yung yung sak na ang aludot ng mata yung dalo yan ang luha. Mm. So, yan po ay... Kung, dacryocystitis. Mm, yan, pagka mm. ano, there are times na kailangan operahin yan para magawa yung dalo yan ulit ng luha from from the eyes papunta sa nose. So, it's a major surgery kasi patutulogin kayo mm. uh, okay. under general anesthesia yan. Now, yung isang issue ng mata nyo, sinab- sabi nyo, nagpa-check up kayo dati at nasabi may glaucoma. Yung glaucoma, para sa kaalaman ng lahat ay ang unti-unti pagkamatay ng nerve fibers na mata, kadalasan ang sanhi ay pagtaas ng presyon sa mata. So, first and foremost, dapat makontrol ang pressure sa mata. But, then again, we have to check kung talaga may glaucoma nga. So, one of these days, I recommend punta kayo sa International Eye Center. <clears throat> Mag, uh, mag-undergo kayo ng visual field test. test. May mga special na aparatong gagamitin sa inyo para ma- malaman talaga kung totoo ang glaucoma nga or it's another entity. Uh, nerve fiber analysis, meron pong gagawin doon. At uh, alamin ko ano yung presyon din ng mata at maibigay yung tamang gamot na na kailangan. Hmm? So, pagka po ang pasyente ay may glaucoma o may lahing glaucoma, I recommend early identification and early intervention. Kasi sa unti-unting uh, pagkamatay ng nerve fibers, pag minsan magising kayo, kakatiting na lang nakikita. Then, mahirap, uh, mahirap nang ibalik. Ganun. Malabo, malabo na nga po. So, ganun po. Sige, mag-asyal po kayo doon at Aanin po natin. Check po natin mabuti. Ha? Maraming salamat po. Maraming Ampak. salamat po. Thank you very much po. Mm-hmm. Alright. So mga kaibigan natin na nais po magtanong. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Thank you po ma'am. Okay, salamat po. Uh, anuhin po yung number ko lang. 0920-90-99937. Text na po. Yeah. Alright. Sige. I'm gonna give you Doc's number. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yes. salamat dun sa... Kila Sir Art and yung, uh-huh. yung misis niya. <laughs> uh, si Ate Agnes, ba? Uh-huh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, uh, Now, going back to your your questions, your text increase, yung mga eye care uh, increase uh-huh. po ninyo. Yeah, babalik ka ng ngayon ni Doc. Oo oh, ha, at uh-huh. uh, we're still getting some more text uh, questions, yeah? Mm. Uh, yung isa. Uh-huh. Sa mga gusto pang humabol, uh, ang landline naman natin na pwedeng tawagan, 252-8905. Yeah, yeah. You can call in your questions kung Pwede masasagot rin. natin. Mm-hmm. Eh. We'll try mm-hmm. to answer them. Ito naman, eh, si <coughs> Gina is asking, ang concern niya naman, eh, I think this is obstetrical, eh. ang tinatalang mm-hmm. missed period. Okay. Ang nag, uh, last, okay, may partner naman siya, last ano niya is... Uh-huh. Three weeks na raw siyang delayed. Well, I think you have to see uh, a guy, an OB. Your OB-GYN, yeah. Uh, OB-GYN specialist, ha? Huh? Apo, na para maano. Yes, meron sa Lourdes naman eh. Just call in. Sabi, mm-hmm. Just in case, sabi yung ganun. Mm-hmm. Mm, meron daw field health package. Yeah, meron naman po, Ma'am Gina, sa Lourdes. Mm-hmm. Yung mga gusto mga anak na, ano, meron po mga field health packages doon. And honored, uh, mm-hmm. covered naman. Uh, Lala ko, what, what would be a, a, a good welcome note sa clinic ng isang obstetrician is uh, welcome OB Jaini at your cervix. Ano ba 'yan? Naisip ko lang daw. Oh, pwede. At your oh. cervix. <laughs> at your cervix. Ano? Yeah, yeah. Oh, at uh, minsan eh may yung pinaglaruan kaming ano nung araw eh sa ano nung nasa St. Lucas pa ako, mayroong mm-hmm. mga ano eh kunya rin pangalan mo. Mhm. Ano 'yung pangalan niya? DJ Tom. Mhm. Special niya. Ano siya? Uh, internist na ang mm-hmm. na pangalan. Mm-hmm. Uh, meron doon physical therapist. Mm-hmm. So, yung therapist, pinagkiwalay lang namin ng konti yung T-H-E. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> naging, naging therapist. <laughs> <laughs> therapist pala, no? therapist. <laughs> Honestly, Doc, when it comes to, you know, putting up acronyms and, ano, Uh, sa, 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 sa medical world. Sometimes you play with you. Nandiyan yung And magaling ha, and creative. Uh, my, my minor spacing can change <coughs> yeah, yeah. the meaning of a word uh, significantly. Ano? Mga minor yeah, yeah. spacing lang. Ha? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. But mm-hmm. you know, ang Pilipino is one of the most uh, colorful and creative. Akala nila, mm-hmm. mga Chinese, single syllable, nakakapagkaintindihan. Ganon din ang mga Pilipino. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Single syllable. Oo, oh, single syllable lang. Pwede mag-usap eh. Mm-hmm. Kompletong kwentohan ah. Mm-hmm. 
O, may dumating. Pinuntahan ni, sabi niya, si Bob pinuntahan si Baba. Mm-hmm. O, Bob. Baba. <laughs> Tinatanong niya, Baba ba? Baba ba ba? Baba ba? Baba ba? Baba ba? Nakakaibig din na, puro baba ba 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 lang. No? <laughs> <laughs> Tsaka meron din dok minsan yung mga magbe-best friend. Oh. Pag nagsalubong, isang ganun lang. Eh? Alam na. <laughs> Alam na. <laughs> eh? Oh. Alam na lang. <laughs> Kasi they're really best friends. Alam oh, na lang. Kakaintindihan na yun. Nagkakabasahan na lang. Alam na agad oh, ko. Ibig niya sabihin. <laughs> Alam na. Parang ano pala. Tuloy tayo mamaya. Eh? Oh, <laughs> Alam yun na yun. Yun na yun, di ba? <laughs> Hmm. Ah, okay. <laughs> yun din yung sagot, eh, no? Wala pang text yun, ha? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hingin nga, misan, huwag kayo text, empty yung sinesend, eh, pero nagkakain. Alam na yun, alam na. Oh, walang, walang message, pero ah, nandun na pala yung message. Paramdam na yun, alam Paramdam na. Paramdam na, oh. Kas yeah. mayamaya, walang message, mayamaya, may na makikita ka. Mm-hmm. Uh, una, space, eh. Mm-hmm. Kas mayamaya, sad face. Mm-hmm. Kas mayamaya, do. <laughs> Ganun, diba? <laughs> Ayun. <laughs> mga mga random text niya mm. uh, na na yeah. malam, malamang ay uh, pinagdadaanan niyo doc because <laughs> you can relate <laughs> oh may kwan si Mel- oh, Melvin mm-hmm. Melvin Guzman ah oh, is uh, vibrating ha <laughs> vibrating <laughs> yeah i'm tuned in um, mm-hmm. a nice uh, show may napupulot okay mm-hmm. good salamat sabi ko nga sa show natin, marami kayong malalam, mar- marami kayong malalaman, pero wala naman kayong matututunan. <laughs> <laughs> Parang itbulaga, ano? Yeah, yeah. Mm, sabi niya, oh, Cham, uh, nice to hear you. Uh, been, oh, been trying to get in touch for so long, hindi ko makakuha. Finally, I got your number. Ayan. Yes, mm-hmm. Cham, maraming salamat po. Mm, thank you, and I'll see you. Mm, si Cham. Classmate okay. of yours or uh, uh, an old friend? Eh, kwa ne? Chaman tawag sa kanya dahil mahusay siyang chumamba. <laughs> Kaya pala chum eh. No? <laughs> nung, nung high school dyan, eh, ang tataas ng grades. Mm-hmm. Pagka na ako nang mataas ng grades, chamba lang yan. Chamba. <laughs> Kaya chum. <laughs> Nakapag-asawa, ang ganda na ang asawa Kaya chum pa rin. Chum pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> Ayos <Ayusun, ha? laughs> Cham, kung happy listening and God bless you. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for your nice comments. Yeah. Mm, si mm, Bob. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob. Talking about me. Bababa. <laughs> <laughs> Magandang maga. Okay, okay yung joke na yan. Mm. May nag-react tuloy na Bob, no? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Wesley. Uh, Doc, ask ko, baka kailangan mo ng personal assistant or mm-hmm, kahit mag-mix lang ng coffee. Uh, <laughs> nice to be with you. Mukhang masaya kayo. Uh, good. Wesley, thank you very much. Yo. However, nandito pa si Boke. Eh. Meron pang <laughs> meron pang assistant dito palagi. <laughs> mm. Oh, nice Wesley. Thank you. Nag-send siya ng image. Ha? Mm. Ah, maganda naman. Eh, kahit pang miss, ano pwede. Eh. Miss Miss pa po ako. <laughs> Yan. Oo. Beautiful picture, Wesley. Salamat. Thank you. The wonders of ano, technology, ano? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pwede kang... Um, hmm, pwede kang mag-send ng images. Um, may nakita kang something interesting, you text it. Yan, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ano, bakit, uh, bakit may color ang mga bagay? Uh, sabi... Sabi sa discovery, wala naman init color ang objects. Can, I, I, you, can I, you explain? I think may napanood ko rin yung series na yan okay. na wala daw talagang colors ang mga bagay ba? or, or something like that. Actually, it is, ganito po ang perception yan ha? Mm-hmm. Ang, ang, ang kukon is Billy. Ask me, mm-hmm. It's a very beautiful, it's a very nice question. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bakit may colors ang object? Eh, sabi sa discovery, wala naman daw kulay. No? Mm-hmm. Ang mga objects kasi, meron kayong particular na character yung arrangement ng molecule, atoms and molecules. Atoms and mole- molecules. Now, yung mga molecules na yan, mm-hmm. yung We're arrangement going molecular yan, now. <laughs> will be able to absorb and reflect a particular wavelength of light. Yun. Yeah. And this mm-hmm. particular wavelength of light na no, ina-absorb nila will not be visible. Mm-hmm. Yung particular wavelength na no, nire-reflect nila will be visible. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For example, this 
wall, mm -hmm. this uh, poster on the wall, mm -hmm. this part would absorb all other colors except the color blue. So the molecules that are cooling the pink dito is reflecting what is blue to light blue. And this one reflects all colors, that's why it's white. Mm -hmm. The black parts, they absorb all colors and reflect nothing. Kaya contrast daw ang black and white, eh, di ba? Mm, so, it's, it's not color, they're, they're contrast. Uh, Tama and ba? black yeah, is not yeah. even a color. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the absence of color. Absence of color, yeah. Di ba? Mm -hmm. So, it depends on how you put it. Mm -hmm. Pero ako, pag tinanong mo, anong kulay niya? Itim. Yung nakikita ang kulay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, colors, uh, we perceive color depending on the perception of our retina. Mm -hmm. Kasi sa retina natin, mayroon tayong sensors. Nasa phones yan. Mm -hmm. phones would tell us, would be able to tell the particular wavelength ng light. And yung short wavelengths, usually they emit the color violet and blue, shorter mm -hmm. wavelengths. And longer wavelengths emit uh, uh, yung color na red. Mm -hmm. Yung mga in, kanya infrared. Ultraviolet short wavelengths. Mm -hmm. So, so yun. Now, uh, something, another interesting, sabi niya, uh, pag nasa mountain ako, ang kulay green. But when I look at mountains from afar, bakit blue? You know why? Yung kulay na blue tend to, eh, short wavelengths tend to travel greater distance compared, mm -hmm. compared, sa, compared sa ibang colors. That's mm -hmm. the reason kung bakit uh, ang nakikita mo would be bluish or violet yung mga mm -hmm. mountains na yan. Mm -hmm. Pero pag nandun mm -hmm. ka, green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because of the, the plants there. Yes, yeah, so, because you're so close. Ano? Mm -hmm. Uh, so, yan ang ano natin. So, uh, yan ang lesson ngayon, Billy. Huh? Very mm -hmm. nice. Uh, yeah. And totoo yun, tama yung napanood mo sa discovery. Yeah, yeah. It's what Sinabi the object ito. reflects uh, that mm -hmm. is perceived as color. Panood ko rin yun matagal na eh, kaya hindi ko nagaanong maalala yung details eh. Pero yeah, I, I remember. Tapos, uh, binanggit nga din doon kung ba, that, that is why, di ba minsan sa movies, napapanood nyo yung vision ng, ng reptiles, kunyari, uh, iba sa vision ng human, uh, iba, iba yung kul kulina. Iba yung paningin nila sa paningin natin. Uh -huh. Ang paningin sa'yo ng anak honda, mm -hmm. pagkain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious to, di ba? Oh. Tayo naman ang paningin natin sa kanila, something na dapat iwasan. Yes, oh. Akbo. <laughs> <laughs> Predator, no? Ay, nice kong batingin ng happy listening. Si yeah. Grace Rojas. Uh, Grace De Jesus is uh, uh, listening. <clears throat> happy listening sa'yo. Hello And, po. Mm -hmm. Yan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yan, ha? Uh, si, oh, Si Pancho. A one word. Interesting. Ito ang sagot na. <laughs> Good. It's... Pancho. Yeah. Nice. Pancho, ha? Bilya? Si, <laughs> si Pancho, kay, kay Biga ni, ano yun, ni, ni Kapaeng, tsaka ni Pando. Kasi magkaka, magkakabarkata yun. Eh, minsan, may isang girl, uh, sumakay sa jeep, uh -huh. pinagbayad, pinagbayad sa jeep nung isang mama sa so, sabi sir bakit sino po kayo bakit mo ako pinagbayad mhm mm inilibre niya ako ako ang iyong chupando chupando <laughs> ah, uh, chupando mo ako sabi ng ganun kasi <laughs> di nagkwentuhan sila uh -huh. punta sila sa isang burger joint mhm mm Nandun ulit si, Pan, si Pando, si Pancho, tsaka si Paeng. Tsaka si Paeng. Uh, uh -huh. Kasama ulit si Mildred. Sabi, si ano bumili naman ng, ano, ng, ng burger. Sabi, bakit niyo po ako nililibre eh? Mm -hmm. eh si Chupando yung una. Mm -hmm. Chupancho mo ako. Chupancho mo ako. <laughs> Tapos, nanood sila ang sine. Uh -huh. Ang nagbabayad ng ticket, Uh, si Paeng. Si Paeng. <laughs> sabi nung Juan, Iha, Tito Paeng, sabi. <laughs> <laughs> tito Paeng, ba't biglang naging Tito? <laughs> tito Paeng. Okay, okay. Kung, kung may barkada silang Wawa, ano? Oh, okay. Siya si Chowawa. <laughs> <laughs> Minsan Wawa, palayaw din ang tao. Oh, oh. Siya si Wawa. Oh, Chowawa. Chowawa. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> si, uh, si Martin uh, Gomez, sabi yan. Uh, Martin, happy listening sa'yo. Thank you. Um, ang message niya, buhaha lang eh. <laughs> Maraming siya. Uy! Ano? Um, bilis naman ng oras. Sa mga may katanungan tungkol sa inyong kalusugan, you can still text me sa 0920-909937. And again, I'd like to um, in inform everyone that uh, Our Lady of Lourdes International Medical Center is looking for marketing specialists, preferably 
good looking females, uh, dentists, mm -hmm. drivers, accounting clerks, at saka registered pharmacists. Uh, for uh, hotline sa Lourdes, you can call us at 222-901-1213. Yung ating email address is uh, mail at ollimc.ph. Okay. Ang website natin is www.ollimc.ph. Mm -hmm. um, may Facebook din tayo. Ha? Just uh, search for as a Facebook, makikita nyo rin. Mm -hmm. And there's Mass every Sunday sa Lourdes Chapel at mm -hmm. 4pm. And soon, uh, Pastor Gary is going to hold some Bible studies dyan yeah. every, I think mm -hmm. every Thursday morning. We'll keep you tuned din. Mm -hmm. Tapos may Facebook din, yung Our Lady of Lourdes. Mm -hmm. Or simply Google. Google, Google nyo, lalabas lahat yun. Yes, All the details so. you need. Sa so, mga gusto mag-apply. Yes, okay. so, At maraming, maraming salamat. Kung may health concerns kayo, uh, text lang po kayo. At uh, ito si Aling Roda, si Ma'am Jema, at saka si ano, happy listening po sa inyo. Yes. Mga teachers sila. Mm -hmm. Sabi ni Ma'am Roda, Doc, teacher ako. Yes po, salamat po. Thank you. Alright. At with that, see you again next week. Same frequency, same time. Dito sa My Subic Bay Radio, 89.5. Maraming oh. salamat po. This is your friend, Dr. Noel Jose Laksamana. Okay, so uh, that's about it. And do stand by for the morning brew. 89.5 My Super Bay Radio Worldwide Con Consulta Pan Medicina. Medicina Consulta Pan Medicina Is brought to you by Our Lady of Lords International Medical Center Subic Bay For the best music mix To your radio this is PBS, the Philippine Broadcasting Service, jointly owned and operated by the national government and Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority. This is where you find news and entertainment with a wide variety of music. 89.5 FM, My Subic Bay Radio. Subic Bay,